Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. Deacon Jan and I welcome you to our <laughs> Monday morning Mass here in the beautiful courtyard of uh, Holy Rosary Church in Mary Mother of God Parish. As we observe the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and also we um, pay homage to St. Henry, a uh, great uh, uh, king and uh, promoter of Catholicism in his day. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own false feelings and sins this morning, as we ask God for the most gracious and bountiful mercy. We'll ask our deacon to lead us now in the act of repentance. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, 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 have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that uh, we may return to the right path, and give all for the life that we possess and our accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that it honors. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the Lord. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. Redress the wrong. Hear the orphans plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the, to the upright, upright I will show the saving power, power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. For your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. When you do, the, when you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him, that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To, to the upright, right, I will show the saving power, power of God. God. According to Matthew. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter in law against her mother in law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. 
And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, and then I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commands to his 12 disciples, he went away from that place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We just heard Jesus say to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And one's enemies will be those of his household. Was this a biblical typo? Did Jesus really say this? Did he really mean this? This is one of those passages that can leave us a bit baffled and confused. But Jesus does this all the time, so we shouldn't be surprised. So what does Jesus mean? Does he really want to bring the sword and division rather than peace? It's important when reading this passage that we read it in light of everything that Jesus has ever said. We must read it in light of all his teachings on love, and mercy, forgiveness, and unity. But with that said, what was Jesus really talking about in this passage? In large part, he was speaking about the expect effects of the truth, and that's truth with a capital T, the truth of the gospel. The truth of the gospel has the power to deeply unite us to God when we fully accept it as the word of truth. The truth is that God has established what is right and what is wrong. He has set his moral law over all humanity, and this cannot be undone. He has also set forth the truths of our faith, and those cannot be undone. And that the law is, and the law is as true for me as it is for you or anyone else. Jesus offers this passage, especially to strengthen us in our faith. Reflect today upon how fully you are ready and willing to accept the truth of the gospel, no matter the consequences. The truth, the full truth will set you free and will at times reveal the division between you and those who have rejected God However, we must pray for unity in Christ, but not be willing to compromise, because this can bring about a truth that is false. May God bless you. Put our faith and our trust in the Lord, that he will assist us in everything that we do and all that gives praise to his Father. Let the church be a sacrament of unity, teaching us to be people of trust, rooted in faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the servant leaders of our community work to guard the quality of our environment, air and water. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer that we be ever mindful of the unemployed and the underemployed and assist them with needed services and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may greet the underprivileged and the handicapped, seeing in their face the countenance of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment of the COVID-19 virus and its eventual eradication, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, and especially for James Hayes, for whom this Mass is being offered, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, patroness of our parish. She may present these and many more petitions on our behalf as we pray together. Hail Mary, Mary full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. water and wine and able to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. Most dear Lord God of all creation, so again as we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Most dear Lord God of all creation, so again as we have this wine to offer for the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless Bless God. God. Lord God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Let us stand and pray with fidelity to the Lord that your sacrifice and mine this morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Grace and glory of His Lord. For our good and good of all the churches. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when summoned by those who believe, we may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might be, become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one great chorus of exultant praise as we all acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Isaac. Blessedness you comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit to bear it upon them, like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed to the disciples, and handed to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that as we partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted husband, Saint Henry, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Again, with fidelity, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, we grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, Lord, I am not worthy, you stand under my roof, I only say the word of my Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. You may now come forward to receive the body of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.